Okay, base take two. Quick time is sketchy. We're gonna work on getting our base thing. P base goes into the tone bone right there, comes out of the tone bone. One of them goes into the pedal board, which goes through the pedals. The other one goes direct out. So this will start with the first direct out. It's going into the first uh, Brent Avery or, or BAE Neve. And that is this right here. Kill that volume, you can see it right here. And there is uh, a DSP time adjuster and the Galen Kruger. Sounds really nice. Now we've split it out to, through a bunch of other stuff, to another DI. We'll, put, uh, we'll take this, we'll leave this off. So now it's coming through the pedal board and coming out one side of the even tide is going into the second neve and the other side of the even tide is going into the Marshall. So we're not sure what we're, ha what we're doing yet. We're, we're going to experiment. So this is now with, with this is the, the knee, this is straight with the pedal board. Nothing on, just straight. And then here's the first one direct in with the, which sounds really nice. All right, so now this is straight. So if we were to put on like, let's say a big muff buzz, in theory, we would have. Yeah. So this side, we could do whatever we want. And this would obviously print like this because it's this thing. It's through the pedal board. And now you come here. Let's just, this is just for test purposes. We're not there. Here's our regular one. And if we bring in the fuzz one, I'm wondering how the phase is with this. Let's just take a look because these are going through totally different. Remember, it's bass into radial, radial straight into the first Brent Averill Neve, then radial two goes out and goes through the whole pedal board and it's got like Sans Amp now on it and Big Muff and it's got no plugins. I, I've deinstantiated them or muted them. So let's just see what happens. Let's deinstantiate them. We're at 88.2. Let's see. Totally different levels. It's not bad. Look at that. Holy smokes. So if we were to come here and we were to come here and make this samples, it's 226 samples. Polarity's good. So that would be more like a deal like so that would be if we wanted to do something like this. We would probably just, oh no, there's time adjuster. We already have it on there. We would just set that for 226 and then that would be it. So we already got a, a time adjuster on there. So let's, let's, um, let's record a little bit. Volume is similar. It must be because I'm me cutting back the big muff. I'm, I'm, I'm printing with a lot less. Right? Let's try something here. Let me try something different. Hold on. 
Let me kill the big muff and kill the sands. Little bit of signal through all this schmo. Well, no, hold on. Let me. Oh, no, 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 no. It's off here. Let me get this. Let's see. Let's see, first of all, how close this is. So it's really the same. Okay, that's better. All right, so let's start there. So now if I was to come here and let's let's look at volumes here. Close enough for rock and roll. So now if I was to come here and do this again, let's go. Much more compressed it is because of the the uh, overdrive. Yeah, there you go. Let's see what it is. Yeah, 211. Yeah, somewhere probably. Yeah, let's we'll set this to two. And it's one of those things that you know it, it's going to take me a little while to get accustomed to it. All right, so in theory this is pretty good now, right? And, and again, this this is an extreme sound. I, I, I'm not sure if I would be using anything quite like this, but we're going for it. Here we go. So we're going to try them now. So it's... Uh, eh. Now let's listen to it with the time adjuster on. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Well, that's the that's the difference in them. 216, right? 218. So it's something you could check every time. And again, this is obviously really extreme with this fuzz thing which i may or may but I, i've got a lot of alternative like kind of indie pop rock which is going to be you know maybe using some of yeah and then i can also bring on this let's see this is now with oh no let me get the time adjuster back on here's with everything just to get get idea so this will be called base distortion so then we would go base um, we'll call this di1 and di yeah two so let's let's try it now. Let's see. That's gonna sound nice, like Doug Pennick, man. playing so let's take a look at this again now we've kind of futzed with it huh yeah see I think this is well I think I think I'm right Th these are hard to tell um, and, and I really honestly I'll grab a guitar to, to do the finishing touches on this because guitar gives you a more articulate but here it is with time adjuster on and everything set that's nice we get rid of here's our basic bass 
voice distortion. It doesn't really have distortion. And bass amp. Yeah, that'll be cool. So bass distortion too, I could put a little, um, let's just say for argument's sake, uh, Oh, there's a little decapitator. nice the, I can hear it the phase is nice nice that's what decapitated because I was thinking I could do maybe the big muff but the thing with that is I'd have to route this differently because I don't necessarily want the big muff going through the Marshall yeah, there it is. Yeah, that sounds really nice. That's uh, that's everything. That's some um, straight DI with uh, Geely and Kruger on it. The next straight DI is the same thing right now, and then Decapitator, and then Marshall Amp is uh, just a recording of uh, of the bass through the Marshall, and the only thing it's on is through the bass distortion and the and that bass, bass amp i've got just a little bit of sans amp which i haven't i haven't fussed with it i just we're just getting levels and figuring out how this all is going to jive yeah Okay, so now we're on to uh, uh, Yami. Yami 5. Here's the Yami 5. Okay. Let's see what's going on. And no, and no adjustments, everything's the same. Active, passive. I'll just kind of go with it like that. Anyway, so there it is. I think this is kind of how I'm going to do it. And then on the fly, I can switch it however I want. I can put, uh, put you know, the I can split the bass amp. And, you know, with the tone bone, and, the, and I have multiple ways to move things around. Because I've got another out out of the tone bone. It's a tuner out. But I could go that into another DI and then use that for... Or I could go out that to the amp, so that then I could use the distortion through one of them and not put the fuzz through the amp. So, yeah, just be whatever. You just figure it out as you go, right? Yeah. Okay, so there it is. That's the whole extent of this, this video. I wonder if QuickTime is still running. It stopped. Oh, no, that's the first one. Let's see if we got the second one is still running. Yeah, it's still running. This is a long, this is like 30 minutes. I don't know how I'm going to chop this up. But anyway, thank you. It's really out of focus. Like and subscribe.